Hi guys, me and Spread of L here. Today we'll, I'll be keep patching the Leviathan Librarian Terminator and two other um, Terminators to go with it. Hope you guys enjoy, let's get straight into it. Welcome back! And today I'm doing the Librarian, the Terminator Librarian from Leviathan and two other Terminators to this to accompany him and to get and because I need to finish them off. This is just a simple conversion of just removing a few purity seals and replacing the love the terminate the librarian terminator's head and weapon. I also replay also put a magnet in the head so the head can swivel. Even though it's not really necessary, I did it because I like the idea of it. So here you can see me cleaning up the belt from where I removed a purity seal. I don't remove both of them because the right one on the librarian is actually sculpted into the leg. And therefore would remove detail it would have this blank empty area with no detail. So I'm gonna leave it there so it has detail. Here I take Lionel Johnson's helmet with his um Dark Angel's helmet and remove the wings and then I shave back the head to fit into the helmet. Into the um space that the head of the librarian would fit. I quite enjoy this um, kit bash more than I expected, but it is quite fun doing these. I do recommend for anyone trying to kit bash anything, pick a night, pick a heroic character, and just see, what, gather some bits that you have lying around, and just see where you go at it. With no, I had to, Kate went into this with no idea what I was doing, and this is what it came up with. In, you'll see what it came up with in the end results. During this process, I did cut my fingers, so I do beware of caution. Do be careful with the scalpel and hobby knife. They are beyond sharp. And I had the battle wounds to prove it. Here you see me starting to drill out the head so I can fit in the magnets for both the head and the body so they all work together this was a bit of a process as every time I kept drilling it and the glue I super glue I was putting in it kept drying way too fast because I was soaking the majority of it up with a paper towel and so it was just filling the hole instead of being able to slide the magnet in I fixed it out eventually by just continuously drilling at it until eventually it fit then I worked on the head I just kept slightly taking away material until eventually the head fit into the, into the space the librarian's head is supposed to fit. I do not regret it, it is actually a really cool idea, even though my snow wolves do not have anything really to do with knights since they are following Nordic and Russian, but I, did remember, but I do remember back very, I can't remember the exact era, but Siberian and Russian cultures had 
a similar um, Crusader's helmet, so I'm just going with that line. And plus it looks cool, so I'm not going to bother too much about it. As I continued on with this um, kit bash, it was simple. Assemble the models from here on straight forward until I got to the axe wielding hand. And any purity seals that weren't too drastically covering over um, details were removed. I attach the pauldrons or shoulder pads to the arms and then here is where I took out the Mjolnir looking axe ready for me to slice it off and replace it with a first, I believe a firstborn terminate, um, first, a first born chainsaw of the space of the space wolves as it just fit it better personally I'll probably use the axe for some heroic character in the future, I don't know which one yet, but I'll use it somewhere. I attach this mod to a base, just to sit aside and prime for later, but I won't prime it during this video as to keep all the details visible. Here's when I realised I cut myself and therefore got a band-aid to cover it as to not get any resin dust or anything into my finger. Here I got some ribbons from the um, Lionel Johnson kit to add a little bit more character to the well, Terminator Librarian even though it is a historical, a very heroic character. I did it anyway because it looked cool and it gave more effect to its um, librarian powers. Here I get started on the other two marine, other two turnings. They were simple kit, as simple as like all oh, my other kit bashes. It's remove the Aquilus first, then any purity seals, remove them, and then scrape them back to give it a nice smooth finish. And that would be them done. Probably not my not my quickest kit. Probably not my longest kit batch I've done, but it was a quite enjoyable process. It felt good to sit back this after just on a day on after school or something and just kit bash. It felt really nice just to relax after a stressful day. Here I lost a bolter, a part of a bolter, and I didn't know where the hell it went. So I just scratched it out through my bits box and found an um, arm to replace it. I still have no idea where that arm went. Probably will never know. Probably used it for another project, to be honest. Won't know until I find it.
And any Imperius TCs left on these models will be turned into um, runes that are holding either sacred text or something along those lines. They are not purity seals anymore. They'll be used as runes or... But, well, they're ritualistic in a way to my chapter, so it works out quite well. Then after assembly, I got annoyed with this one piece, so I just clipped it off and then put, applied glue. Don't know why it was being so annoying, so I just got rid of it. And then I realized the heads went on the sprues, so I got the only head that was on the sprue and put it in there after I found some suitable bases that would work. But then I remembered I need to paint these guys, so I put them on my painting sprue, my painting bases. I just keep lying around and attach them to that for display and the final results. Here I just went around and found the heads to put them in, and there we go. There, are the empty sprues are used. Here are the final results. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And see you guys in the next one. If you want to see more content like this, please leave a like and subscribe and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please leave a like down below. Consider subscribing, and if you don't like this video, hit the dislike button and let me know how I can improve to make these videos better. Hope you've enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye.